Waco is where we begin tonight's sports coverage. Steel and Humble Summer Creek shaking hands before battling it out in the Class 6A D2 State Semifinals. This is a first for Summer Creek, but they look like they've been here before. First quarter, Blake Thomas scrambles, locates Welch, Caleb Welch, inside the five, and he brings it home. Bulldogs take the lead. Battling from behind, Knights QB Chad Warner hits Royal Capel on the outside. The junior stiff arms not one, but two defenders. That play sets up Steele at the eight, and Warner caps off the drive with a toss to Jalen Cooper, who is wide open in the corner of the end zone. Unfortunately for Steele, they just couldn't get enough stops on Summer Creek's high-powered offense. The Knights fall 38 to 14, ending their season 13 and two overall. It's great to you know to see the you know the, the, the success that we had not only as, as a football program but the school to come together. Um, you know it, it's it, it's special. Uh, you know a lot of a lot of you know the football team right now. I know they're disappointed, but you know it was a special season for sure. It's one of the happiest moments of my life. We've worked so hard this off season, and it's paying off. <laughs> Well, last night, Smithson Valley knocked Brownsville Veterans Memorial out of the Class 5A D1 bracket with a decisive state semifinal win, 49 to 21. The Rangers are back in the state championship for the first time since 2004, and they're set to meet Alito for a December 17th, 7 o'clock kickoff inside AT&T Stadium. Alito has been the most dominant team in UIL history and comes in with 10 state titles in the last 14 seasons.